Hi, my name is Sarah Hines and I'm an artist in residence at UF Health Shands Hospital. Today I'm going to share a way to paint abstract flowers with acrylic paint. Here's what you'll need. You'll need some sort of paper, canvas, or wood. Acrylic paint paints on pretty much anything. Any kind of acrylic paint that you have. A few brushes, a glass of water, and maybe a paper towel or two. All right, let's get started. I've pre-painted the paper black and I'm ready to paint. I'm not gonna sketch first, but I may trace with my finger the line where I want my composition to flow. I'm using acrylic paint and I'll start by just laying in some leaves. I'm gonna mix some of this aqua and yellow and just start dabbing them in. This is a nice way to warm up. I'll add a little white to this color to give some variation. Coming back in and laying in more leaves. Because this is somewhat abstract, I'm going to let some of these leaves move into the aqua tone. This is a loose, impressionistic style of painting. If you don't know artist Claude Monet, look him up. All right, I'm going to rinse my brush out and start laying in some blob flowers. I'm going to start out with some pink, so I'll mix some red and some white. and just throw in a blob of color, nice and loose. I'll do a couple more of varying sizes. And then move on to the next color, rinsing my brush really well in between dips. This yellow is somewhat transparent, so I'm going to mix it with white too. Actually, all of these colors I'm going to mix with a little bit of white on their first go around. I'll do the same thing with the purple making sure to wipe out that yellow out of my brush completely before I move on. Blend some purple with some white and lay in some color. I painted my paper black first, but you can use any color background you want. I find that a dark background helps the colors to pop. You'll want to be careful if you're painting near other colors that are wet so you don't pick those colors up and make them muddy. All right, I'm going to use some of this aqua, blend it with some white, and throw in a couple more blooms. There's really no mistakes with acrylic because if I don't like something, I can always come back in later and paint over it. The paint is rich and thick and creamy and opaque, which makes accidents easy to cover up. All right, I want to give these blooms just a second to dry before I add a second layer onto them. And this is a good time for me to go in and finish out these leaves. I'm going to mix up a little bit more green here. And now come in and just add some richness to my design. Just loose blobs of color 
We're not going for an exact species of flower here. We're just going for the feeling. Again, I can mix a little white with the color I've already mixed to change it up, adding different tones and variations. All right, now I'm going to go back through all my flowers and add a second coat that's a little darker than the first. So this was a pink I made with red and white. I'll still use a tiny bit of white, but it's going to be almost a pure red. And I'm going to just add some foreground to these flowers. Just covering the front. Nice and loose. I'll do the same thing with the yellow. Remembering that yellow is a very transparent color in paint. So I'll blend a little white in to try to make it a nice opaque yellow. You know the deal. Purple that's just barely lightened now. And finally, some of that luscious blue. I'm not afraid to really load my brush up with paint. Even if there's lumps of paint left on the paper, when it dries, that'll create a beautiful texture. Last, sometimes it's nice to just take a little bit of white and go through and make some very small abstract blossoms in your canvas, almost like baby's breath. I try to not make them perfect circles because I'm not trying to add polka dots. I'm just trying to add some little abstract flowers in the spots that I think might need them. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this abstract floral painting lesson and I can't wait to see what you try.